BSc International Relations and Chinese is a new degree that enables students to work in global international organization, corporate diplomacy, to really reflect China is taking a lead in the global stage. For international relations students, um, a language is really useful because lots of them, they want to go into international um, careers and languages, of course, are essential. Well, I think IR at LSE is really special because the student body is so diverse, so international. Uh, so you always feel like it's a bit of a UN environment. I think it's just a great opportunity for me to be able to study both uh, international relations and at the same time a language. Obviously English is an international language so you get very far but if you want to understand other countries yeah it is very useful to be able to speak foreign languages to have a different insight. Um, in many international jobs you will actually need those language skills as well and, and yeah, why, why Chinese yeah, for, for, for the obvious reasons that China is so important. One of the unique features of this program is that we offer study abroad twice, not just once comparing to the traditional four-year joint degree. So in 2014, I had the opportunity to go to Fudan University in Shanghai. I spent the whole summer there uh, doing an intensive Mandarin course. So in the first part of the year abroad, you're going to spend eight weeks in Shanghai, one of the most cosmopolitan city in China, where you focus on your language skills. At the same time, you get to know the university, how it's going to look like, what kind of teaching style, so you are very well prepared for the actual third year abroad. Before joining the Food and Experience, I was an absolute beginner. I started uh, Mandarin uh, when I just came to the LSE, so I was a beginner with very basic communication skills. Now in the third year, while well, you're actually at Fudan, Shanghai, you're gonna learn language for specific skills. That means your Mandarin courses is focused on IR. At the same time, you will be able to study the subject with local Chinese students in Mandarin Chinese. Uh, one of the problems when you're learning a language is having the confidence to actually use it. Uh, outside of classes, I managed to travel a lot, um, and even in Shanghai, uh, speak with cab drivers, and just in a daily basis, um, really improve the you know day-to-day -day language skills. There's a variety of opportunities for you to explore. Uh, I mean, language-wise, as well as um, expanding your knowledge into other fields of study, which incorporate languages. We are not only studying the language, but also um, the society, politics, culture, and history. I think the Language Center is great at LSE because they really emphasize the link between actually learning the language, but also using it for social science purposes. We have to conduct uh, the, the, the research in both uh, Chinese and, uh, and English. The teaching approach at the Language Center is communicative and engaging. We encourage students learning by doing, and the assessment is progressive, so every week you're gonna have regular feedback from your teacher to inform you how well you're doing. I really can't compliment the Language Centre highly enough. The teachers are fantastic. In the higher levels, we have research projects really combining your discipline knowledge and linguistic skills. We also have really innovative projects such as Current Affairs in Mandarin where you're going to present a TV show in the target language. I had the opportunity to create a well, an interview um, in the LSE um, filming studio, uh, which is very professional. Um, it was probably one of the best experiences I had at LSE. Um, it was pretty nerve-wracking while I was doing it, but in the end, you also have something to show for if your friends, your family, future employers uh, want to know whether you can actually speak some Mandarin, then you can show them the video and say, well, yes, and I can actually do research in Mandarin as well. What, what I'm looking forward to is to see students here who, who do the degree with one specific language focus and, in, in mind and to see how they combine their, their substantive interest in international relations and probably also substantive interest in China particularly with getting much more immersed in the language and the country than, than students would do otherwise. So I think that's a very exciting opportunity. It's also exciting for us to see as teachers.